um, and, and taking tests, that sounds pretty serious. Yeah, it's not something that I, I like to talk about because I never like to set up an excuse mm -hmm. for for anything that I do. Um, I was, was going through it and I was trying to kind of battle every symptom that I had for a week or so during the French Open and a few days before. So um, once I got healthy and, and kind of got the green light to just to start training, that was my goal. And it was great to be able to be on the court and not have to cough or blow my nose a hundred times and all those things. It's just kind of annoying when you're just trying to become a great tennis player. <laughs> um, so going through that, I think it's it's been a great last couple of weeks. Well, we've never played against each other before. Um, that's always tricky in a first round of a Grand Slam, and uh, see a British wild card. Um, saw a couple of her matches in, in Eastbourne. Was it last week where she had a good result in between my practices? So that was that was good um, to have a little bit of a of a look at her game and how she plays. But ultimately, that's that's not extremely important as you just want to go out and try to figure things out from your end as fast as you can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's certainly the player to beat and with all the confidence in the world having won the the last three majors, um, not just not just these two in this year. Um, I think those those results speak for herself, and she's certainly the one to beat. What? It's um, of course, if you're able to watch a few little things or pick up some patterns. I, I think <laughs>